morning everyone i've just had breakfast like you just saw me making it i had granola with some fruit which is kind of just what like what i have every day um even when i'm not in isolation today i thought it would be fun to organize my makeup into these new storage boxes that i have bought from amazon um i thought i would record the process and kind of just maybe record other bits of my day as well and just see how it goes i've never really vlogged um properly before i have done a couple of like vlogs in the past of like holidays and things and i did one with my mom when we went shopping one time but i didn't have um enough storage on my laptop to edit it which was ridiculous but then for christmas lewis got me an external hard drive so i am now able to edit and whatnot so that's good and i've been putting off organ because i've actually had the makeup cases for a while now but I've been putting off um organizing them until until a day that I was gonna film I am not gonna do my makeup today I have decided today to stay fresh face because I've done my makeup the past couple days in a row and my eyes just want a break I think they are um sick of eyelashes so I'm just gonna let my face have a breather today so I don't know if you've tried yet, but the coffee trend that's going around on, I think it's TikTok and started on, but I've seen it on like Facebook and everything now, um, where it's one part coffee, sugar and hot water, and then you whisk it until it creates like stiff peaks. Um, it's really, really nice. I've posted about it a fair few times because I love iced coffee. It's like my favorite thing. But I have started to do it straight in the glass with this like little contraption which is from Ikea and like you turn it, it's got water on it, but you turn it on and it does that. It just flicks water in my face. Um, but basically it just mixes it and it, that way you don't have to get like the whisk out, the bubble out, etc., etc. Makes it 10 times quicker and I am living for it because it makes it so easy to make and I love them. This one's actually from yesterday, but I put it in the fridge. I just like saved it because I didn't finish it. Anyway, I'm just gonna pop a quick wash on and then I will head upstairs. Okay, so this is my room. Welcome. Um, this is just a spare room in the house that we haven't put a bed in yet. So I've just been using it as like a bit of a makeup room. So I've got like my drawers here from Ikea, um, they just had like one of my makeup stuff in, um, they've got like a bunch of random stuff in as well, like hair and whatnot, that I don't particularly use. I've got like a little dressing table over there that needs replacing immediately, but it's not a essential. And so there is like a little blue suitcase over here, which has the containers inside. So I'm just gonna go get that and open it for you so you can see the storage boxes. All right, so inside of here, I have these two makeup cases in here, and then I have another one of these big ones in the opposite side, which is like the side with the mesh. So they are by this brand here. Um, and like I say, they're from Amazon. They weren't too expensive. They were like, yeah, these were like 30 pounds each. And then the small one was like 20 pounds, I think. Mm. Roughly anyway. So basically you open it up and inside it's got all of these like dividers and it comes with like another one of these so you can you can take these out and kind of customize them as you like and then in this bit we have like these are like brush holders obviously that's like a protective cover for the brushes and then we have this zip compartment here as well which is essentially the size of this so you can put like a palette in there or something and so this is the small one. I've already put two of these clips in here. Um, but yeah, it's a lot smaller, but this one I'm thinking maybe like lips and things like that. I'm not too sure yet. I need to kind of just have a bit of a play around. Um, but this one I think I'll also use for myself, like if I ever go on holiday, that sort of stuff. I think it'd just be quite a handy little makeup kit. Now I just need to figure out what I want to go in which case. Um, and because that probably take me a fair amount of time I might just put you on a time lapse and then go through the organisation after I've done it. Um, so I hope that's okay.
Okay, so I think we are done. There are things that won't go in, but um, these are like my staples. So in here, we have got all of my foundations under there with some setting spray and a couple of brow and contour products. That is my liquid bronzer that I have. Um, and then this iconic prep set glow. In here, we've got highlight and brow. This one is primers and powder. Here is just some more setting sprays. These are like really small primer samples and little pots that I've got with the ones that I'm just trying out. Got some more powder in here. These are all of like bases and concealers. So I've got the P. Louise bases and then the Revolution concealers. And then these are bronzers and blushes and a couple of highlights as well. And then in here, I've got my Kat Von D shade and light palette and my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit. Um, so that is pretty much all of my base makeup. The only things that won't fit are my Jaclyn Hill X Becca palette and the flash highlighting palette by Jaclyn Hill. I do also have more palettes in my drawer. So I've got all of these as well. This is a highlighting palette. Um, we've got a bunch more like highlights and contour stuff around here and blusher. And then these are all of the remaining eyeshadow palettes that I have. So I've got quite a lot. Um, I think these ones I'm just going to take with me as and when I know a client needs them. Eventually I might just buy another one of these bigger cases. But for now, that's just, it's only a couple of products. This one is all of my lip stuff. So up here I have put my liners. These are the nudie ones. These are the more berry and red tones. And then these are lip crayons that kind of meant for the entire lip. Um, and then in here we've got a mix of different liquid lipsticks and some glosses. And here we've got the Jeffree Star mini liquid lipsticks. As you can see, loads of them need shaking up but they are all in here. They're just, these were the nude collection. In here, we've got a couple of full size. These are two red ones. Um, and then just a couple more products. And then these are the Charlotte Tilbury mini lipsticks, which I just thought I would slot in there. Here is a couple more, just like random, random brands that I don't really know about, but they're worth taking with me to clients. And here we've got some MAC lipsticks. I'm still in need of going to the shop and buying way more lipsticks. Um, MAC only let you use the Pro Discount in-store and obviously we haven't been able to go in-store for a while. So I'm waiting for that and same with like lip liners and stuff. So this, I'm kind of actually glad it's got more room. Uh, these are the Kylie Jenner and then the Jouer minis as well. I feel like I don't get through these really fast so I quite like to get the minis um, just to save on the product etc. In this little bag, I've got beauty blenders. Um, and then over here, we've got eyes. So we've got a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. These are all of my staple ones. This one's the one that I like to use if I have a young client, just very natural. And then we have all of the staples in here, along with the mascara that I like to use on clients. And here we have all of my lashes and etc. So we've got Duo Glue my lash applicator from Morphe. We've got a bunch of tatty lashes for my braver clients. And we've got the more natural lashes from Ardell. Down here are like different eyeliners. So from um, more of a crayon base to liquid to the black paint. And I think I will add, when I get my paints through, I might add them to this section or down here. In this section here, we have my antibacterial spray to just use between clients. And then this is what I use to clean my brushes. It's called ISO Clean. It is the best cleaner I've ever used. And then in here, I've got my Beauty Blender Cleaner, um, my eyelash curler, which is from NARS. I've got a bunch of disposable mascara ones. I've got some tweezers and a pair of scissors in here that I only use on clients because they tend to be for like lashes um and then i've got a couple of glitters over here and then i always like to take something with me like this just in case somebody has 
um, a little bit of imperfection on their chest or on their legs or something and they don't really know what to do about it. I like to just, you know, take this along with me just in case anybody needs it. That is basically that. And then I have my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette just in here. But I'm going to lean it in there. I haven't put any brushes in these parts yet because I like to keep my brushes in here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm looking forward to getting some more kit. It looks like everything's full, but this is only the beginning. <laughs> I can't wait to just have loads more, um, especially lipsticks because I've got loads of liquid lipsticks, but I really need more lipsticks. I much prefer using actual lipsticks on myself and on clients just because they're way more comfortable. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's Bite Beauty in Honeycomb the shade but that one I can only get in America so I always buy one when I go. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. Um, I might stick around for the rest of the day. I haven't decided yet. I'm actually not sure what time it is. I haven't checked the time at all. Um, so yes, I might see you later. I might not. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me organize my makeup bags. Um, and then once I get a new kit, I will keep updating you if you want to follow me on social media. Um, I'll always update you on my new editions um, and things like that. So please feel free and I will see you in a bit. So now I'm just gonna go out into the garden and carry on reading my book and just chill out until it's time for dinner. So it is a fair bit later now. Um, I enjoyed my gin, it was very nice. Uh, I don't know if I said, oh no I did, I showed you what it was, but it, yeah, it was the raspberry gin liqueur from the Edinburgh Gin and a um, pomegranate and add flower presse. So that was really lovely. Then we had burgers for dinner, which were really nice. Um, and now I am going to spend the evening FaceTiming my family. We're going to do like a quiz night. We do it every, every week. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you another day. I hope you enjoyed the video.